Let's say you're a developer who often copy pastes code. Is this practice cheating? Does it make you a bad programmer? Today, we are going to explore whether using code from the internet is a bad habit or merely a helpful method. Stick around. Before we begin, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to Code Monarch. Let's start with a universal truth. Every programmer has copied and pasted code at some point. Whether it's from Stack Overflow, GitHub, or a website, we've all borrowed code snippets to solve problems or implement features faster. So, is this practice inherently wrong? The answer isn't black and white, it depends on how you do it. If you're copying code without understanding it, you might be setting yourself up for trouble. You could unknowingly introduce bugs, security vulnerabilities, or technical debt that could haunt you later. But coding isn't about reinventing the wheel. If there's a tried and tested solution to a problem, why spend hours building it from scratch? The key is balance, using existing code while ensuring you understand it enough to modify and adapt it to your specific needs. Now, when is copying and pasting code a good thing? Let's be real, time is a precious resource. When deadlines are tight, you may not have the luxury of writing everything from scratch. Code libraries, frameworks, and open source repositories exist to save time and prevent developers from solving the same problem repeatedly. For example, if you're writing code for data parsing or a standard algorithm, you could spend hours developing your own version, or you could copy a well-tested, optimized solution that's been used by thousands of developers. In these cases, copying code isn't just acceptable, it's smart. But the key is to understand what you're copying, how it works, and how it fits into your project. On the flip side, when does copying code become problematic? If you rely on it too much, it can stunt your growth as a developer. Copying and pasting without understanding is like trying to solve a puzzle with someone else's pieces, it might look right at first, but you'll struggle to make sense of it later. Constantly relying on external solutions means you're not developing your own problem-solving and coding skills. Worse yet, if you're not careful about licensing or copyright, you might find yourself in legal trouble by using someone else's code without permission. Now let's pivot to something a lot of developers struggle with, especially when they've been copying code it's the imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is that nagging feeling that you don't really belong or aren't as skilled as other programmers, even when there's plenty of evidence to the contrary. And sometimes, when you rely on code from external sources, it can exacerbate this feeling. You might start thinking, I couldn't have come up with that code on my own, or I'm not really a programmer if I can't write every line from scratch. But here's the thing, even seasoned developers copy code, use libraries, and leverage frameworks all the time. Programming is a collaborative field. It's about solving problems efficiently, not about writing every single line of code yourself. When used correctly, copying code doesn't make you an imposter, it makes you resourceful. Here's a perspective that might help, every programming language, framework, or tool you use today is, in some way, built on top of something else. Python, for example, is written in C. Many modern frameworks like React or Angular are built using JavaScript. These tools didn't come out of thin air. They are built by standing on the shoulders of previous technologies. So, in essence, the act of creating something new in programming is often about assembling pieces that already exist. Copy-pasting code is just a micro-level version of that bigger process. But here's the thing, if you want to truly build things, rather than just write code, you have to focus on understanding how things work, not simply memorizing syntax. Programming languages are tools, they are a means to an end, not the end itself. If your goal is to create something meaningful, like an app, a website, or a new feature, your focus should be on problem-solving and understanding the underlying principles, not just memorizing commands. Think of programming languages like a carpenter's tools. The hammer and saw aren't valuable because you memorize how to hold them, they're valuable because you know how to use them to build something. When you focus on building things, you start to ask questions like why does this code work, and how does this framework solve this problem? This mindset shifts you from being a code copier to a code creator. It's the difference between copying someone else's painting and learning how to paint yourself. And this is where copy-pasting can actually be helpful, by seeing how others solve problems, you can better understand how to solve your own, as long as you take the time to learn from the code you're using. Let's go back to the concept of how programming languages and frameworks evolve. Every new tool is built on something older. For example, Rust was developed with improves on memory management and concurrency in mind. Similarly, frameworks like Django or Flask are built on Python, offering solutions that save developers time and effort. When you use these tools, you're benefiting from the work of countless other developers. And when you take the time to understand how these tools work, you're learning how to build your own solutions, which is what makes you a real programmer. Now, how do you balance using code and overcoming imposter syndrome? 
First, remember that programming is all about continuous learning. No one starts out knowing everything, and even the best developers rely on the knowledge and work of others. If you copy a snippet of code, make it a point to learn from it. Ask yourself, why does this code work? How can I tweak it to suit my needs? When you do that, you're not just copying, you're learning. Over time, you'll internalize these concepts, and you'll find yourself relying less on external sources because you'll understand the underlying principles. And let's not forget, everyone has been there. If you're struggling with feeling like an imposter, take a step back and recognize that even the most advanced developers have relied on others' work. The difference is that they took the time to understand it and make it their own. Celebrate your small victories, whether it's debugging a tricky problem or simply understanding a new piece of code. These are signs that you're growing as a developer. So, is copy-pasting code bad? Not necessarily. It's a tool, just like frameworks and languages themselves. The key is how you use it. Copy-paste code to save time, learn from it, but don't let it become a crutch that stunts your growth. And remember, even the programming languages and frameworks we use today were built on the foundation of something else. You're part of a larger ecosystem of collaboration and shared knowledge. And that's why, the next time you find yourself doubting your abilities because you used someone else's code, remember that you're following the same process that has built some of the most powerful tools we use today. You're learning, growing, and contributing to a broader community. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.